Hi, this is tips number five on property management. In this week, we're gonna talk about selling your house with a tenant in place. So yes, you can sell your house with a tenant in place, and all that you have to make sure is that the new buyer honors the current uh, contract that it is in place until the end of that contract, and which at that time, the, buy, the new buyer can decide if they want to continue to rent to the current tenant and extend or rewrite their contract, or they want to give them proper notice to vacate at the end of their contract. But during the listing of this house or property that has a tenant, it's very important to communicate with the tenant. I personally recommend giving the tenant a discount on their rent in exchange for showing the property. So if you do that, that motivates the tenant to show your property and um, to schedule showings on your property or to become available certain days of the week and or hours so that you can quickly show it and get an offer right away and then it, it gets off the market and they're not disturbed. So the best way to motivate a tenant is to offer them a discount during the listing time. And let's say that they have a long-term lease. Once the sale is completed, it goes back to the, the original rent price, what is listed on their uh, lease agreement. So that works very well in most cases. If you do not want to provide a discount on the tenant to motivate them to help show your property, you can always do um, accepting an offer subject to, uh, to viewing, which means if you get an offer, you negotiate the terms, and once it becomes accepted during the due diligence, that buyer has to have the opportunity to view the property, which at that time, if they don't like the property, they can cancel because the offer would be subject to viewing of the property. Uh, another tip is make sure that everything gets transferred and documented in escrow. So your security deposit gets transferred from the seller to the buyer and if there's rents in place that they get prorated and documented in escrow so that you will have your final settlement statement reflecting security deposit prorated rent that went back to the current uh, or new buyer now the current seller or landlord they should obtain the existing deposit and rent from their property manager. But it's important to do that transfer in escrow because it, it will protect both the landlord and the property management company by documenting this transaction. Sometimes buyers forget that they receive this money and the best way is to have good records and being on the HUD on the final statement, settlement statement prior or at the time of closing, um, it, it solves that problem. Make sure that your tenant is aware of who is the new landlord. Um, are they gonna have a different property manager? Are they gonna be self-managed? And try to put all this in writing, have the tenants signed off so that there is no questions as to where they're gonna be paying their rent, who the new owner is, and that their lease is going to be honored until the end, um, the way that it has been written. So hopefully these tips help you out when deciding to sell your property. You don't have to wait until it's vacant. It could be very easy to sell with the tenant in place. If you have any other questions or need our services, 
please visit our website at lasvegasyourhome.com or give us a call here at Monarch Property Management, 702-412-7189.